to Fumi's Red Carpet Fashion Police, the Emmys 2017. I am so excited to be back for this season. Yes, I'm going to be here for the entire season. I'm going to do the Academy Awards. I'm going to do the Golden Globes, yada, yada, yada. I am going to be here giving it to you left and right. Before I start, I want to give out a big shout out to Rich Lux. Many of you don't know that Rich Lux and I have been friends from way, way back in our early YouTube careers. Of course, he has turned out to be such a success. I love him so much. And last week, he gave me a shout out. He always gives me shout outs on his channel. And about 300 to four of his subscribers came over to my channel and stayed. Sometimes they'll come and then they'll unsubscribe. But yeah, they all stayed. And I wanted to give that shout out to Rich Lux. I love him. He's such a sweet, sweet guy. And back in the day, we would do exchange gifts. And he would send me boxes of Chanel, Gucci, perfume, uh, makeup, and I would send to him too. Such a lovely guy, such a brother to me. I would do anything for Rich Lux. So with my little channel, please go ahead and support him. He's super funny. And when I want to laugh, I always go to his channel. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty, my loves. First up, Melanin Goddess in Gold. I mean, talking about wanting to win an Emmy Award, she looked sensational. It was one of my subscribers or followers on Snapchat who pointed it out to me that she was on the red carpet. She is a L'Oreal representative. I would say L'Oreal girl, guys, give her a contract, and she was on the red carpet. So beautiful, so regal such a goddess such an empress in gold you cannot go wrong with that kind of complexion she is so 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 beautiful she was wearing samantha black and she also made it to the shade room for you guys that don't know about the shade room they have 10.2 million followers very urban very street style pop culture everything she made it in there too. So Melanin Goddess, you are definitely FDV approved on the red carpet. Yes, my love. Swift following by Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum was wearing Peter Dundas. <sighs> Heidi, 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 Heidi. You know I love you. I will start with the positives. You are aging gracefully and I love that. You haven't gone the Hollywood route and had your skin stretched left and right. But there are some things that should be lifted. The bus line. This was not a good look for you. I did not understand it. I mean, right off the bat, Alvida Zane, honey bunny, this is not working. There are so many other dresses that you can wear if you refuse to have that insert lift. Because the dress, Peter can do it. You can just have a little plastic insert into the dress and voila, girlfriend, you're as bright and as lifted as the stars in the sky. This just drew you all the way down. I looked at your hair, which was gorgeous. Your makeup was nice. I loved that ethnic touch with the wooden earrings, with the wooden bangles. I loved it. I liked the dress. It just is not suited to your body type. Now, you can always alter that with a lift, with a lift. Everything else was gorgeous. I love the legs, I love the red sandal, I love the hair, but you have to pick it up, so to speak. So in this instance, Alvida Zayn, my love, what can I tell you? I still love you though, just a little tweak here and there. Jane Fonda, Jane Fonda was wearing Brandon Maxwell. I love the dress gorgeous fuchsia pink strapped in at the waist with a lovely ribbon belt i love the bell sleeves coming all the way down past the wrist she's very good when it comes to that dress length just so where the heel can peep out and she was wearing these gorgeous silver heels kitten heels to match the bag here was the thing it was the hairstyle this lovely ponytail with the bang it wasn't for you. Jane, you have to pull your hair back. Show us that fresh look. It is not about your age. It's not about size. It's not about being big busted, small busted. It's dressing appropriately for you. And you have to have those money bones. Money bones, AKA, also known as cheekbones. 
Jane, you have to flip your hair back. The bangs were just too much. The highlight was nice. The feathering was nice. It just did not do anything for you. The hairstyle was just a little bit severe, should I say. I like the ponytail, but sweep the hair back so that we can see your face, we can see your eyes, we can see the brows. That's a better look for you. You can do this if you're doing editorial, because editorial, guess what? You've got Photoshop, you can airbrush, you can be a different person. <laughs> Myself included. But when you're on the red carpet, it's real, honey. And we need to see the very best of you. And this just was not for you. Other than that, I loved you, mama. I did. Pozo. Then we have Mackenzie Davis in Del Pozo. I loved this. Very different, very unique. I thought it was adorable. I love the little bow to the side with the white panels, with the pop of pink. It was gorgeous. It's fashion week. It's very on trend. She's fresh. She had her hair done in a tight bun so that the dress just carried it off. And she did the right thing. She did not have any jewelry because this dress stole the show. The minute you start to put accessories, then it gets a little bit confusing. The pink pop of color was gorgeous because the mint is a strong color almost neon and the pink also was like a neon so it went together it was one of those outfits that was so unexpected and yet the second I saw it I loved it Viola Davis in Zach posing looking like a peach I love this citrus dress peachy orange fresh on her beautiful cocoa complexion, she cannot go wrong. What I loved was the hair. She had it up very Grace Jones-esque with a little bit of curls to the side. It was fresh. I love the deep raspberry lip. She looked simple, she looked elegant. It was very well fitted. Beautiful collarbone, arms, the dress flowing. Zach Posen is a go-to for me when it comes to red carpet dresses. Issa Rae in Vera Wang. Girl, hello cover girl. Issa Rae is now a cover girl and so very well deserved. She started her career from YouTube and look at how far she has come. And you looked amazing on the red carpet. I loved the one shoulder. I loved the fact that it was cascading in the back. Her face is so fresh, plus the hair in a bun and then she had like the braid around. Slim, gorgeous, caramelish cocoa. She looked adorable. Make Makeup, yummy. There was nothing wrong here. I loved this cranberry red. She's tall, she's elegant. She looked fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely how a cover girl should look. Padma Lakshmi in Christiana Siriano. She looked like a swan, a baby pink swan with the fish tail skirt. Gorgeous. There was nothing wrong with it. I adored it. I loved her hair. I loved the way she swept it to the side. I loved how it had like the jagged edge. She's a gorgeous woman. And what I like about her is that she dresses appropriately for her figure and she knows what works for her. This was gorgeous. There was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Love the smoky eye. Love the nude lip. I love the minimum jewelry so that the dress could have center stage. Sofia Vergara in Max Zonino. Again, another fishtail. Again, this is a woman who knows her figure. She's got that hourglass figure and this did everything for her. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations to you again, Sofia, because I think this is the eighth time that she's been nominated at the Emmys. Good for you. Wonderful actress, beautiful woman, and you know how to dress for the red carpet. This was gorgeous everything about it and i tell you this this can also be a wedding dress there are some wedding dresses that you can take off that rack throw away the tiara and storm that red carpet and it will be sensational this was that dress fabulous kerry russell in jay mandel well 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 hello kerry i want this dress in white gorgeous the see-through, the applique, the feathers, the 3D, all of this going on, it was busy. At the same time, it was minimal. Absolutely elegant. And it had the right amount of see-through. Just enough see-through for you to still stay classy. You know? And she did it well. Hair swept to the side, beautiful cocktail jewelry, adored it. She looked elegant. 
I love this. Very much like a cage dress, but the holes were minimal and then it had another layer on top of that, which really made it extra. I adored it. Carrie, you're looking good, mommy. Love you. Jane Krawalski in Bagley, Mishka. Heidi Klum, please take note. This is how you do it. This is what I am talking about. You have to let the dress work for you. The dress cannot be a standalone piece and then you look a hot mess inside of it. She got it right. At the end of the day, these are tricks of the trade and you should know as a model because I know you spread the breasts to the side, let them be held, assisted, pinned, stapled, whatever, so that that center piece is clean and you don't have that droopy effect. Jane is older than you and she got it right. Beautiful, elegant, streamlined, with that blonde bob. It was everything, sensational, absolutely gorgeous. Heidi, I hope you're taking notes. This is the way to do it. Again, Yvonne Stravosky in Julian McDonald. Heidi, I'm so sorry, I'm calling out your name, but honey, and she wore a red dress. This is how to do it. This is what works on the red carpet because the thing is that pictures are being taken of you front, left, side, back. Angles are so important on the red carpet. You get that angle, it doesn't look right. You know the press, that's the one they're going to continuously publish throughout. She looked beautiful. Again, very streamlined, minimum jewelry. Congratulations because she's just gotten married. The red was gorgeous on her. It's that fire engine red. I love the center part. I love the fact that it was put in a bun with very minimal earrings to show off her beautiful neck. I loved everything about it but the sandals. The sandals being black, I just didn't see the match because she wasn't carrying a bag. It would have been gorgeous if you wore red sandals like Heidi Klum. You see, I love you, girl. If you wore red sandals like Heidi, that would have been great or you'd have just gone with nude. When it comes with something like this and you're going to wear black, make sure that you have your accessories that match up together because then it pulls the look together. Having said that, streamlined, classy, elegant, she was a win for me. Felicity Hoffman in Tony Ward. Jane Fonda, take notice. I loved her hair. She looked so fresh. She looked so inviting. The dress was phenomenal. It was a baby blue lace cascaded down and her figure just as gorgeous as Jane Fonda. But the difference here was that Felicity looked fresh. She's a woman. We have long gone left our 20s, 30s, 40s for Jane 50s and 60s. That is not a bad thing because the alternative is that you're in a casket and we're all looking over you thinking the best of you back in the day. So while you're here, look fabulous. We're not in our 20s. Who really does want to be in their 20s anymore? Felicity got it right. Sweep the hair to the side, have highlights, be inviting, but above all, be fresh because you're a woman and we appreciate that in you. Come to the red carpet looking gorgeous. And she did. I love the chandelier earrings. I loved her fresh makeup. I love the fact that she had like a tint of blue for the eye because it really all pulled it together. Minimal makeup, no big necklace, beautiful bracelet, and that was it. Her accessory was her husband and a fabulous smile. And that is all you need. At any age, at any stage, I have to reiterate, it's never about the age, it's not about the size, it's not about anything. It's the confidence within, which is great, but the confidence stems from the fact that you know you look fabulous and it's appropriate and you have it right fitting for your skin tone, for your size, for your shape, and for sure for your face. Your face is the open door. We want to see you. We want to see the magic and the sparkle in your eyes and Felicity got it right. This is what I would have appreciated if Jane had done because she's a gorgeous woman let's not doubt that for a second but the bangs was too heavy and felicity swept it to the side which gave a very, very soft flair to her look and she looked like magic good job felicity angela serafian in elizabeth kennedy oh my god what can i tell you my fenty yellow my cranberry yellow she looked gorgeous beautiful with the gold accent on the lid her hair cascading downwards to the side and at the very end the highlight just pulled in together the yellow dress it was beautiful collarbone skin 
hair, lashes, everything. I loved her. I loved the eagle wing earring as well. Everything was just pulled together. It was so simple and so elegant. She reminded me so much of the Scarlets of the 1960s, the 1970s, when you were just, you know, effortless and it was all about skin and it was all about just showing off you know health and simplicity and at the same time it was so modern she got it right i absolutely loved this priyanka chopra in balman here comes the eagle that's what i felt i felt eagle i felt bird i felt feathers did i like it i'm on the fence you guys need to help me on this one her makeup was sensational i loved it coming into fall you have that kind of burgundy lip and eye it worked for her because she's got that olive skin she's got that dark hair but i was on the fence with this dress it looked too warm she just looked like she was going to fly at you in anger. But I love the diamond earrings. They were gorgeous. I sent you it in the jewelry that was sewed in on the dress. It was okay. I have a funny feeling that perhaps it was even more sensational had I seen it in real life. But with the pictures and what I saw on television, it just wasn't giving me life. I don't know what to say, guys. I just, mm, I don't know. Taddy Newton, beautiful in Jason Wu. This is the best I've seen her in a while. The simplicity was gorgeous. Her shoes, I die, I want them. This is what works for her. Very simple makeup, simple hair, no wigs, not too much jewelry. Let your skin glow. Put a little bit of trophy wife and you are good to go. I loved this. She just looked like a ballerina and she brought her mother with on the red carpet, which I thought was really cool. The epitome of femininity. That was what I got. Loved her. And darling, that is it. We are now at the worst dressed. Yes, darlings. Aria Winter in Stephen Khalil. Why? She looked like a stripper in Las Vegas. I am so sorry, but that's exactly what she looked like. And the dress looked tight. What was this? I just did not understand. Why would you have two slits up the crotch? You can't even walk straight. And then you have your hands jammed in between your thighs. On the red carpet, this was all going on. Young girl, beautiful girl. I love the hair. You were awkward. We were awkward for you. It didn't work. What was this? I just did not understand. And the dress looked like it was $5 that you can beat down to $2.50. It was not a good look. It was so, so, so inappropriate and it was terribly ill-advised. Not working, honey. Even for the after party, this too would have been too much. Wasn't working, wasn't a fan. I like you, Ariel. You're okay, I adore you. But um, your outfits of late have not been great. Last week you wore a pair of shorts. If you can call them shorts. So work it out, darling, okay? I want to see you look fabulous. You're a young girl, you're very pretty, you're gorgeous, you're super talented, and you have worn beautiful dresses in the past. But this was an absolute no. Mm, 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 mm. My best dress, darling, was Jessica Biel in Ralph and Russo. Beautiful, feminine, I loved the silver, I loved the peach chiffon. You're the epitome of femininity and class and elegance. She was talking to Julia Rancic on the red carpet and she was saying that her stylist is the one that has the final say. So Jessica, you owe your stylist a gift because you looked magical. I think what I loved about it was that you were so effortless. The makeup was right, the hair was right, the shoes, the new heels exactly ladies take note this is how you pull an entire look together and it just makes your leg look long and she was breathless on the red carpet very healthy all i saw was skin and i'm into skin right now skin 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 because fenty beauty is just rocking and snatching wigs in the beauty industry <laughs> So it's a little bit of lip gloss. It's a little bit of highlighter. Have your hair looking absolutely gorgeous. She was my winner for the Emmys red carpet. 
As for the men, I didn't want to waste too much time, but hunty, when I tell you I had to fall all the way back and give the best dressed man to Donald Glover, who looked sensational in Gucci. He just gave me Prince, and Prince never looked this good. And his beautiful soul rest in peace. It was flawless, it was fabulous. I loved everything about it. And it was the right shade of purple where it didn't look clownish. It did not look jokerish. It was deep, it was rich, it was royal, and guess what? He was a winner that night. So that is it, my loves. That's my wrap up for the Emmys. And before I go any further, what am I wearing? Honey, when I tell you, it's not how much you pay for it, it's how you wear it. I'm wearing a beautiful strapless top, lace applique, H&M, earrings, H&M. Of course, you know my makeup is Juvia's Place. And I'm wearing Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss, Gloss Bomb. Smiling and waving to you, my loves. Stay fabulous, stay gorgeous, and kill them every chance you get. Ha, 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 ha.